Okay, welcome back to Angelo Sure Thing. We're broadcasting live today on Saturday from the magnificent, beautiful studios at Tom's TV. We have two wild and crazy guys as our guest uh, in the second half of the show today, Andre and Sorel. Good morning. Good morning, Angelo. It's always good to see you. Yeah, we, had, we, we were on the radio for a while. And, that's uh, right. I, I was on your radio show, that's too. That's right. And we, we, yes. each of us have a great great face for our radio. We do. You know? We do. And, uh, <laughs> so. Speak for yourself. I'm very attractive. <laughs> to him, I mean. You're so, a very attractive man. <laughs> sitting kind of close together. And I'm a woman. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so listen, how long have you two guys been together? 36 years. 36 years. That's amazing. I think we're the longest-running comedy team. Uh, one of, one yeah, of well, the they said the lo longest running uh, ever. comedy team of ever, and they yeah, use yeah. the word comedy very loosely. Right? Very loosely. Okay. Very loosely. Uh, okay. You're a trained uh, actor. You yes. went to uh, serious Academy acting. Of, I went to the Academy of Dramatic Arts in uh, Car at that time it was in Carnegie Hall. Right. I went there and that was, I was that was in like 1951. Okay. And, and how did you, how did you get over into the comedy end of it? Well, people laughed at my acting. Okay. No, no I'm only kidding. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, actually, what it was, I was always a comedic actor. In other words, that comedy was always my forte, and that that's so why I I leaned towards that. You know okay. What I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. So it, it it had nothing to do with just I happened to be in in the, in the soda store one well, no, the drugstore one day. Angelo, and, Angelo, when you got a face like this, you have two choices: you either become an accountant, or you become a com comedian. Okay. So, they, so he became an accountant. And you're an accountant. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank God you chose the right. <laughs> that, that's it. No, really. Frank, you know. yes. You're a trained operatic singer. Years ago. What I are did you doing that. with this guy? Well, you know what? I was walking along one day. I was in, in Union a drug City. Store. I was in Union City. Yeah. And uh, he was sitting on the uh, quarters, dimes. And I said, Bob, come on. Come with me. He's a okay. good guy. Now. I'll show you the way. He's that kind of person. But, uh, no, yeah, we got together. Jesus. Uh, no, how'd you make the transition, though, Frank? Seriously. Well, all right. Well, I was with, uh, you know, I had my own bands back in the early, uh, late 60s into the 70s. And then uh, I had started studying voice. My dad uh, brought me in. To, he said, listen, you should have some voice lessons if you're going to go into this. Try to get a good foundation. So I started, started studying. It was the, I never went into opera, but it was it was the operatic technique that I studied. Right. For the breathing. And, and then... I had my my own band, and then around 19, I was with a, a guy by the name of Gary Chris, who's a local local guy. He had a, he had a big uh, disco record, a Rio de Janeiro, and in, uh, in the early 70s, and uh, a guy by the name of Art Stock, who owned all the nightclubs in, right. in Jersey, playpen, yeah. of course. Right. Well, he opened the art. He opened up the Playpen South in 71, and he called Gary Chris, uh, and he said, "Gary, put a band together." So we went down, we did that. And in fact, we're working with Gary. He works with us now. Oh, yeah. okay. We use him in our show. Yeah, nice. He's a local boy. He's Tom's River boy. Okay. Uh, now he is anyway, but uh, fantastic singer. Matter of fact, when we, just to do a plug real quick, when we do that August 14th at Capone's here. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Okay. Yeah. Gary opens the show for us. Yeah. Okay. But He's great. But going back, uh, I went with the Dupree's from 71 to uh, beginning of 74 when I got together with Bobby. Hold that for one second. We have a phone call. Absolutely. It's probably some guy looking for money. But yeah, anyway. It's gotta be. Absolutely. Good morning. You're on Angelo's Sure Thing. We're here with Andre and Sorrell. Your name? Victor Mano. And how are you today? Okay, not bad. I wanted to say hello to a couple of friends of mine, Andre and Sorrell. Go ahead. Hey, Vicky. Victor. How you doing, guys? Uh, uh, talk about a musician, one of the finer drummers, singers around. Really? Yes. Yeah, that guy there. Yeah, good, man. Yes. We did Madison Square. We took him out of, real quick, I can't believe he called in. We took him out of mothballs. He hadn't played for years. And Bobby had an oldie show with the knockout right, thing. Right, yeah. yeah. And so. We're going to talk about that also. Right. But I'm just saying, be, be, he called in. I, I love Victor. You know why? When he, when I'm next to him, you're gay. I feel handsome. <laughs> I feel handsome. You make it. Oh, I'm not. Uh, not, yeah, I'm not today, anyway. <laughs> so you snuck that in, didn't you? Like a nice guy. You know? He's a good one. You got to watch him. Man. Any was... guy with a nose, you got to watch. You got to watch. You got to watch when you got that nose. I was told he was a nice guy. You know, you look a little something like me. You know that? Yeah. No, don't. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm the better half of better yeah, looking no, half we, of the we duo. Should, we should go back to back. We don't have a pickaxe. <laughs> Let me, okay. hey, what do you want to say? Guy, this, what do you want to say? I, want, nine. I wanted to say something first. We're going to do the six de degrees of uh, how we're related, you know? Six know. degrees of separation. I love you, Victor. All right, Mike. Yeah, I mean, I really, I really, really love you. I told you. Yeah. I really love you, Victor. <laughs> Victor, thanks for calling in. All right. I just wanted to say hello. Have a good day. Thanks, Victor. Okay, Bye-bye. Take care now. <laughs>
Okay. Poor Victor, he didn't give nothing to say. <laughs> I had nothing to say. He uh, called in. Uh, it's like a guy, you call him up. He's stay, dead, dead air on the other line. Uh, oh, he could talk and talk, except we cut him off. So yeah. listen, a lot of people don't know, but I did, and we surprised you. You were one of the original Dupree's. No, I wasn't. Uh, I worked with the originals, though. Right. I was th one of the very few guys that... As you know now, they're not all original, you know. Yeah, of course. Uh, but they're, they're all gone. They're, they're a great, great scene. John Silvato is the only guy still around. That's right. That's right. But I did work with them, and it was such a great time and an honor to work with them in 71 for almost three years. Well, they were all originals. The right. original guys. Nick Arnone. On uh, I was just, I, I mean, I wish I would have been an original, but I was just about five, six years too young. Those guys are. Yeah, they're a little older. A little bit older. A yeah. little bit older. Because uh, I'm like, what am I, 30, 32 next 32, birthday. 32, okay. Yeah, next birthday. Yeah, you look great. Thank you. Thank you. I you feel great. I feel good. But you, you could pass for a 68-year-old man any day. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Thank you so much, Hans. I'll be 93 my next yeah. birthday. All yeah. right, don't break. All right. Right. <laughs> you know, but I, is it true though? I got to just say one thing though. Now, I, I, seriously, folks, we just we just met Ange, and uh, he was nice enough to call us up and say, "Listen, come on down and do the show." I was desperate. And we're he's desperate. <laughs> he's also uh, can we curse on the show? No. Um, this guy here, he's kind of humble, but Bobby could tell you something that he did for him. This is going back at the top of the yeah, mass. This, this is, is true. And, this, this and don't man, be humble about this. Ladies and gentlemen, this man saved my life. Yes, he did. He saved my life. Here the we go. Of the Here's a bit coming. No, no, okay. no, no. He <laughs> saved my life. You I, I, was, I, was, I just walked out of the club. We just did a show that night. Just did a show I remember night. like it was yesterday. Okay. Yep. Four guys start beating the living hell out of me. Look at a little guy. Like beating that. the hell out of me. Angela comes out and said, okay, that's enough. How about that? Huh? I mean, come on. How that's, many times you find a guy That's like the that? kind of guy I am. You don't that's find guys like Damn that. Right. That's the kind of guy I am. Damn right. So listen. So, you finally got together. Yep. Where did you go with that? How, how did you, you know, I mean, you, any, any two guys can get together, but, but what do you do with it? How, do you, that, how do you go with that it? At that time, at that time, they had, the big thing was show groups. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember, all the, well, every lounge in Vegas had show groups. Right. In Atlantic City, well, then it wasn't Atlantic City yet. Across uh, the country, anyway. Right across the, the country. The Sheridans, the Marriott's, Marriott's, right. Marriott's oh. Ramadas. So, if you put together a show group, and then if you got a really good show group, you were never out of work. We, we hooked up with this agent, uh, Gino Tonetti, and he booked every He played hotel. football, didn't he? No. no. He booked every hotel in the United States, and in Puerto Rico, and every place else. You never were out of work. So if you put together a good, good group mm -hmm. or put together a good act, you were off and running right away. It's not like today. It's much but I, I believe the, the question, the question you were alluding to was that how did we actually hook up though? Yeah, how did, yeah. That's how, what he how wants did, to know. Did, by phone. That's I was in Las story. Vegas working with Pat Gallo. I was working Vegas. He was home. He put the group together. By phone, I said, "Listen to this," and I would go back right. and forth. I was auditioning musicians. Right, that's what right. I was doing. Yeah, and that's and we put together over the phones from him in Las Vegas to me back here in Jersey. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. right? Came crazy. back, it happened. It was just that, and he was worried about because he had never done comedy before, and uh, he felt like I don't know if I want to do this. And uh, you know, he was used to the my hair looks very nice, mm -hmm. kind of like you, yeah, you know, like me. So, then I said, no, you got to put this hat on, you know, and you got to put this over here. And, you know, and that's how it did. Because for me, I didn't want to hear anything. For me, I want it done. Let's so so why did the Dupree's get rid of you? They got... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they weren't too happy with me because he left them. To go with me. Can you imagine that? So you left, left the Dupree's to go with Bobby? I did. Uh, it was. It, it had uh, run its, 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 Big its, mistake, its course. Big mistake. Yeah. It was. Uh, but it ran its course um, because at the time there were there was a lot of inner inner uh, dissension within the act. Okay. Uh, the but I mean I love them all. They were great. May they rest in peace. The guys that aren't with us, uh, John Salvato, uh, who was the originator of that act yes. from from day one, was the guy that tried to keep it all together. Try to keep it together. Well, that's a whole other. And I, 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 but John, right. you know, that's a whole story because yeah, 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 yeah. it's a very sad story. It is. Yeah, Actually, it's a yeah. very, very well, sad story. I champion story. John because I know what he's been through. John's a great guy. Yeah. And yeah. and uh, he he uh, yeah. you know just things you things in life happen and, yeah. and you know and and we both know him yeah. Yeah. well and, and it's just right. really a sad sad story. But John, you know, he's a great guy. He always bounces back. He's, yeah. he's doing some great stuff up in the Poconos with no Caesar. Doubt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Hey, so you live down here? You live down here? Yeah. I don't live right here. I no, no, I don't. But where do you live? Where do you live? Like in uh, the Tom's River?